Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. You two are coming together again, and this is your last chance. It's your final chance. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Shalom, the Lord bless you. I welcome you in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Please, if you're seeing me for your very first time, my name is Ethel Betangba, and this is Prayer and the Prophetic with Pastor Ethel. You are very much welcome in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. God is good, and his mercies are renewed every morning, which means he's a God who gives chances always and always, and you must be ready, and you must be prepared. So uh, these particular two people are about to, to reunite and are about to come together again. But this is going to be the final and the last chance. Now, I want you to understand something. I have come to the place where I learned that the more you keep giving chances to people, the more they keep taking advantage of you. You know, somebody comes to you and say, this is the last time I'm never going to behave the way I behaved towards you. I'm never going to act the way I acted towards you. I'm never going to take you for granted. And you forgive them and you take them back. Now, the moment you forgive and you take them back, things are so good, things are so wonderful, things are so amazing, and afterwards, the change again. And then you start asking yourself questions, and sometimes it feels like you are the problem because you're like, okay, what is going on? You know, and I'm speaking and somebody's nodding the herd right now because you know what I'm talking about. You know, and then things change again. And then you get to the point where they come back again and ask for your forgiveness. And so so it becomes a normal routine because you always say yes. You always accept. You always forgive and take back. Now, am I saying that you do not forgive? No. I'm saying that always forgive and always learn to give chances. But I've come to a place where I learned that the more you keep giving people chances, the more they keep taking advantage of you. You know, the nature I have is a kind of nature that can be easily taken advantage of. For example, if you steal something from me, I believe that I can still be with you. I believe that you can still change. But I'm growing and I'm learning that if so. Somebody still wants from you, there is a high probability that they can still steal from you again. So I used to have the mentality of seeing people in the pure form, in a pure stage, in a perfect stage, like, oh, this person is amazing, this person is an angel and all that. So no matter what you do to me, I will still want to take you back. But I've come to that realization that the more you keep taking people back and giving them chances in your life, it is the more they get opportunities to hurt and open different doors that they can get into and instead kill you. So there is this particular two people, this couple, it has been from one misunderstanding to the other, but you both are really in love with each other. You love yourself. It's amazing. It's wonderful. But there, you keep having problems. You keep having misunderstandings. You keep having issues. There is a lot that keeps happening between the two of you. So you separate and you come back. You separate and you come back. And, you know, there is a stage and there is a point whereby if you keep separating and coming back, everything is not spiced anymore. When you keep separating and com coming back, everything is just normal. It just, because when you separate and come back, you must take your relationship to the next level. So that is what makes amends better. That is what spice up the relationship. And this is what is happening between the two of you. 
You've noticed that there is, has always been a separation, but when there is a coming back, nothing changed. In the beginning, it seems like something is about to change. It seems like something is about to go different and amazing, but you've noticed that it doesn't still change. You've noticed it keeps and it still remains the same. Now, this is what I have to tell you. You're about to come back again, but this will be the last and the final chance. If you don't make things right, everything is going to go sour and never coming back again. There are people whom God brings together and loves them together. And God feels like these two can better fulfill the purpose that I want them to fulfill. These two can better do the job. So there are people who are going to come together, not necessarily because of love. Like God keeps bringing some people, but it's because he has something. He has a purpose for the two of them. So that is why he can easily make them be reattracted to each other. You see some people breaking up and never wanting to see each other again. I never want to see you. I never want to see you. Right? All of a sudden, you notice that spark in their hearts. And then you see them coming back together. Sometimes it is as a result of God's plan. I say it again, sometimes it is as a result of God's plan. Sometimes the Lord knows that should these two be together, they will fulfill the assignments better. They will fulfill the purpose better. But this is the last and the final chance God is giving to the two of you again. I'm speaking and this confirmation is pressing so hard on the heart of somebody. You know what I'm talking about and you know it's you I'm talking about. I pray every manipulation, every blindness, let the Lord take it away. It aspires in your life. And this time around, you will do things the right way. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. Let the will of the Lord be done between the two of you this time around. It is for the glory of God. It is for his glory. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Please do not forget to like. Do not forget to share. And do not forget to subscribe. If you haven't subscribed, what really are you waiting for? Please kindly subscribe and join this amazing family. You're welcome. God bless you powerfully. And God bless you amazingly in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Please do not forget to pray for me as the Spirit of the Lord will lead you. Call my name in the place of your prayers. Always pray for me. Always keep praying for me. Thank you so much for praying for me. God bless you. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. Now, may the Lord bless you, keep you, cast his face to shine in you. May he be gracious to you and may he give you peace. The shalom of the Lord, nothing missing, nothing broken. I love you so much, I do. God bless you amazingly and abundantly. Shalom.